Just sitting in here in Elkhorn, Wisconsin. Uh, went and got a couple tacos and uh, evidently they're doing a little bit of training here. The uh, Elkhorn Fire Department. So we'll see what, they, what they're up to. Looks like they're simulating <laughs> using the boom to go rescue somebody.
Nope, they don't got no dummy on there. We're just pretending there's one on there, I guess. They got that dummy on there locked down tight so you don't fall off. <laughs> And a lot of these are new people, new uh, firemen. Uh, the guys on the ground are trying to tell them what they're supposed to, what they have to do. Said they gotta put a ladder up, and then they slide it down the ladder. <clears throat> I was wondering how they get the person down from there. I think they, I don't even see how a person would fit underneath, well I guess they would. I would think they'd have the weight of a person in there so they could train by lifting the average weight of a person. It'd make it a lot harder if they had a lot of weight in there. Safe. Safely off the roof. Lots of danger in being a fireman. Roofs caving in, ladders slipping. We got a guy in the stretch in the stretcher now, pretending to be like the patient, laying down. I don't know if you can see him. There, he's getting up. <laughs>
oxygen tanks on your backs, some of them. Well, I parked in the right spot today, <laughs> just by coincidence. I think they're going to see if it's uh, possible to get them off the front of the truck, but it doesn't look like it. Then they wouldn't have to slide the thing off, person all the way to the back. I think they're just trying different ways. Trying to see if it would work off the side of the truck. Evidently the front would. That'd be pretty steep, it looks like they're a lot steeper than <clears throat> bring a person down that way. As they say, practice makes perfect. I'm sure there's lots and lots of practice that goes in the uh, training to be a fireman. And the longer a group of people are together, the better they get. Lots of times though, when you're been together a long time with anything, that can be like carrying a firearm or doing it for a long time or any, any doing anything for working on a factory for a long time people get complacent and uh, that's when accidents can happen also so uh, training has to be involved to keep everybody updated and uh, to bring awareness of the possibilities of what could happen so it's a good thing they're practicing I think maybe their ladder, they should put a couple little hooks on the end so they could hook it onto the truck so it wouldn't slide away on them. That could be bad. So they could lock it in place somehow. Hmm. Just notice now they got jacks on both sides of the truck. I guess that's to make it more stable. Uh, but boy, it raises the rear tires right off the ground. I didn't even notice that. I don't know if you can see that in the video. All the rear tires of the fire truck are off the ground. It's just held by those two jacks on each side. I thought that was just supporting the doors, those slide out doors. It was holding the whole truck up. Interesting. Yeah, they're trying different ways, but that's really, really steep there. And the ladder is really flexible. I can see a, when he's going up and down, they put another person on there coming down. It would be really flexible. Almost too much weight for that ladder, I'm guessing. Hmm. fire truck with a hydraulic lift on the side they could just put the person in there and lower them down and that would be the, the alternative uh, the best way I would think but I'm sure that would be tons and tons of money the way the economy is going right now money is kind of out of the question they seem to all have a good sense of humor
looks like they're pretty much done. They're taking the stretcher back apart. It comes back apart in two parts and putting everything away, letting the ladder away, and looks like it's pretty much over. Now they'll probably go in and have a meeting and discuss and what they could have done better or stuff like that, I'm guessing. So anyways I'm gonna end this video. It looks like it's over and thanks for watching. I just happened to park here. I wasn't planning on making this video today. Just happened to be in the right spot at the right time. You never know. Um, I actually need to start carrying more of my camera equipment with me. Uh, I've had a couple of instances where I could uh, put a wish I had it. Uh, and I didn't. And uh, so I'm going to start doing that in the future, hopefully. So thanks for watching, everyone. And we'll have a, have a great day, everyone. And uh, see you on the next video. Bye now.